Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. <laughs> so? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Brothers. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? No. I guess. I don't feel that bad about what I did. Maybe. That's bad. Yeah, it is bad, Daniel. We killed someone. Even though we had no choice. I know. She was so nice at first. I can't believe she turned me against you. I'm sorry, Sean. <laughs> no way. We're the wolf bros. Nobody can tear us apart. Nobody. Right? Sean. Are we criminals now? Sort of. We did a lot of... illegal shit. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh, yeah, I can tell you. Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm, let's see. Oh yeah, okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair deep in the red desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination lied... The evil Chupacabra, and they would have to fight it together. Uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are, but it's my story too. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay, then. So what happens next? Uh... Okay. 
So the Wolf Brothers encounter the evil Chupacabra. And he attacks them. He's very dangerous. But the little wolf uses his powers to crush him. They arrive in the magic land as heroes. Because they have defeated the beast. Okay, Stephen King Jr. You win. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. I'm glad we had these. Not a fan of desert critters. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. That hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh, yeah. Now that's a badass superhero you don't want to mess with. Yep. Still need our processed sugar in this hippie desert. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. Perfect formation. Activate flashlight. On the way. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. This power is so cool. I love tie-dyeing stuff now. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. What's the big deal? Look. 
Seriously? What did you do that for? <sighs> Whatever. That thing could sting us to death. So what? You just torture it? <sighs> Jeez. Hey, I won't do it again. If it matters to you. Let's just head out now. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> hey. We saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Yeah. These guys are real cool. Hey. See this? Looks like the ones you did back in that cabin. When you got sick. Oh. Totally. Wait. Does that mean other people were here? Of course. Maybe someone from away did it. Oh, I bet it was Joanne. Didn't Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah, Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? She's... Um, confused. Like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know... I mean... She hasn't seen you for years. Not sure she can deal with all of this at the same time. Huh. It must be weird for her. I hear you. <sighs> you know, I could have done it by myself, right? Hey, let me be the cool, helpful big brother once in- Hey, you know who I'd see having a trailer out here? <laughs> who? <laughs> Brody. He'd love it. Like, he could have his own radio station and everything. Yeah, definitely. It would be so cool to have him around. <laughs> I miss him sometimes. Oh, shit. That wasn't here yesterday. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. My legs are gonna be like yours after all this hiking now. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. Easy peasy. <laughs> nice, man. Go see what Joanne was doing. Go for it. 
I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat what you had. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. One thing Claire and Karen have in common their love for pancakes. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh, gross. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. Brody's so good at describing painful situations and seeing the good into it. Yeah, I ghosted her. But so glad to see Lila's back. Man. I'm still not used to this heat out here. So good to have a home. Again. And a real bed. I miss his ass too. If he wasn't such a fuck up, he could take over the world.
Whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Hey, Dad. Nyla always knew how to crack me up. Whoa. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? Stuff like she can. Mm, maybe in Mexico. Oh, yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Hey. What's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it, too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years. Until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. <laughs> These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Now that's some real patriots. Huh. <laughs> you think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> Looks like Brody, the bear. I sure wish we had him around now. He was a good guy. Sean, what were 
are you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. Oh, really? Was it weird that I kissed Finn at the farm? Dude! N no way. <laughs> dude, I wouldn't lie to you about it. You don't have to know everything. Hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. Looks glorious, but... What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. child is something special. Yeah. I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <laughs> I don't know. It's just doodles and shit. No big deal. Yeah. I thought my sculptures were shit, too, compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. We all got something to bring to the world. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Until I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <sighs> okay, sure. Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes! Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but... Go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Now, let's throw on that spider. There he goes! Maybe you should keep the same bottom piece, don't you think? Daniel, you know every artist sees and does things differently. I know. I just wanted to help him see it in my way. Hey, nope, nope, no, uh, let's take that spider off the pedestal. Check it out! Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Hmm. Now. Let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. See? Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Clever. Uh, where is he going? 
Sean is about to show you, Daniel. Keep watching. Summon the Spider Queen. Sweet. Yo, can you turn that, that, uh, spider thingy around? You got it. I feel like we're almost done. <laughs> well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Oh, yeah. It's super cool. Thanks for listening to me, Sean. It's exactly what I wanted. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanna's so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented.